Hello girls, there's a chance that I won't be there um, tomorrow. I will be back on Wednesday, don't worry. So I'm just going to translate this for you. Meridier, we did this uh, first paragraph today. Meridier, at midday, the sailors cast off the ship. Vento secundus era, there was a second wind, or there was a favourable wind, and they arrived at uh, Delos. No, you said Delhi. They arrived at Delos. This is the home of the gods Apollo and the twin gods Apollo and his sister Diana the gods of the moon and the sun, respectively. Um, although I got those muddled up the other way around. And they arrived at Delos under nightfall, a small island where the god Apollo was born. Quintus was wanting to visit the monuments, and he asked the captain, nay, if you remember today, we said that following verbs of asking, so if I just said release the ship, that would be a direct command, but do not resist the ship, do not release the ship, Still a direct command. Quintus asked the captain not, nay, Solvere, not to release the ship. Indirect command. And because the original verb is secondary sequence, rogawit, that makes the Solvere imperfect subjunctive. Until he rediset had returned. That's actually also pluperfect subjunctive. And donek here, taking the form of a temporal clause, the same as cum, which I mentioned for the first time today. And we have here cum... I'm just rubbing out some of the red. Cum in teram exiset. When he had got off onto land. Cum plus the subjunctive, a temporal clause to do with time. When he got off onto the land, he hurried with Pompeius ut spectaret in order to look at the sacred place. Ut plus the subjunctive, a purpose clause, secondary sequence. So it's going to be... Uh, imperfect subjunctive, in order to look at the sacred place where Apollo was born. Cum omnia specta vicent, temporal clause, when they had looked at everything the sun had set. Therefore they decided to spend the night um, on land. Posture day, the next day, when first they, temporal clause, had gone back into the ship, the captain ordered the sailors, ut solverent, to release the ship cast off the ship, reliquum. The remainder of the journey was finished without misfortune. On the third day, Twab, on the third day they caught sight of the shore of Asia, and at midday they arrived at the harbour of Ephesus. Ephesus is in Turkey. It's a great place to go to if you ever get the opportunity. It's not as famous as Pompeii, but it should be. Quintus and Pompeii and Pompeius, Festina, it should be Festina, not Fetina Verant, um, hurried into the city, and when they were sitting in the forum, temporal clause, they met a certain soldier who was serving with Brutus. They persuaded him, notice the persuading, they persuaded him to take them to the army, indirect command, the same as they ordered him to take them to the army. Without delay, uh, they started on a journey, and um, at evening, and when it was evening, and at the evening, they arrived at the camp. When they, cum in was sent, when they had entered, temporal clause, when they had entered the camp, the soldier led them to the centurion, and he said, these men have come from Athens in order that they may, so purpose clause, notice, we have the perfect tense in direct speech with the present subjunctive, so it's, these men have come in order that they may serve with Brutus. He ordered them, indirect command, to come with him into the headquarters. When the centurion had led them into the headquarters, they caught sight of a tribune of the soldiers by the name of Rufus. There were six tribunes in each legion. These were normally young, um, upper-class, sort of rich men gaining some military experience that were there to help out the legatus, the commander. They caught sight of the tribune of the soldiers called Rufus, who by chance was known to them. It says in brackets here, on my little downloaded thing known for strength, that is wrong, ignore it. They're fools, whoever wrote that. Who by chance was known to them. Ile, he, Salutawit, greeted them happily. And so you also have come in order, Militetis, present subjunctive, because it's, you have come in order to serve with us. It is primary sequence, because it's perfect with have in direct speech. I will take you, future tense, I'll take you to the commander of the legion. The commander received them politely. Rufus, he said, will take care of you. Tomorrow I will take you to the general. Postridiae. The next day Rufus ordered them, 
having been woken, perfect passive participle, I see an ordering, to, ut, plus the subjunctive, so indirect command, to hurry to the commander. Ile, he took them to Brutus, who asked them many things. At last he said, juvenes prudentes, widemini, you seem clever young men and energetic. I will receive you in my army. Ad legatum se vertit. He turned to his commander. Send these young men, he said, to the commander of the 10th legion. Order him, ut, plus the subjunctive, indirect command, to teach, to look after them, indirect command present, and to teach them something of military discipline. He said these things and he dismissed them. The commander of the 10th legion looked at them sadly. He said, and so you've come from Athens. You were studying philosophy in the academy. Now you want to serve in the army. Immortal gods, mock. Soon we will not have an army, but a school of philosophers. Rufus, take these young men to Lucilius. Order him, but plus the subjunctive, to Docheat to teach them something of discipline. Very well done, girls. I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday.